Hello, everybody. I'm John Locke, and I'd like to welcome you to the LockingYourSuccess.com Trading Performance Podcast, where it's all about real traders, real problems, and real coaching. Listen up and enjoy the segment. The premise of this book is that doing well with money has little to do with how smart you are and a lot to do with how you behave. And behavior is hard to teach to even really smart people. Ordinary folks with no financial education can be wealthy if they have a handful of behavioral skills that have nothing to do with a formal education or formal measures of intelligence. And uh, I think this is true. And I also think that this frustrates a lot of people who consider themselves highly educated and successful in their current career or their past career because they see other less educated people coming into this business and being very successful. And they then jump into to conclusions about how easy it's going to be to make money trading, which if you've been at this for a while, you know, or depending on how you behave, you know that this can be quite challenging. So <clears throat> another thing that he says is we think, a, we think about and are taught about money in ways that are too much like physics with rules and laws and not enough like psychology with emotions and nuance. Now he's talking about money and not trading specifically, but trading you'll find is, uh, has the exact same characteristics. So, uh, and therein lies the problem. Okay, with many inspiring traders, they're looking for rules and laws, rules and laws about how the market works, rules and laws about uh, how implied volatility works, and then trading rules uh, about, and then they're also looking for trading rules uh, about how to consistently take advantage of the rules and laws that the markets are following, while missing the point that the market is not following rules and laws. The market's created through emotional behaviors. And it's this very expectation that it's, it's going to follow these rules and laws that is preventing traders from becoming successful in their trading. So if we go to the next slide here, <clears throat> it says engineers can determine the cause of bridge collapse because there's agreement that if certain amount that if a certain amount of force is applied to a certain area, that things are going to break, right? The bridge isn't going to work. Physics in that manner is not controversial, right? Anybody can, can do the test and everybody can see that that is indeed the case, right? It's guided by laws. Finance is different than that. Finance is guided by people's behaviors and how, and realize that how I might behave might make sense to you, might make sense to me, but it might be completely crazy to you. To grasp why people bury themselves in debt, you don't need to study interest rates. You need to study the history of greed, insecurity, and optimism. To get why investors sell out at the bottom of a bear market, you don't need to study the math of, uh, of expected future returns. You need to think about the agony of looking at your family and wondering if your investments are imperiling their future. All of us, you, me, and everyone, go through life anchored to a set of views about how money works that vary wildly from person to person. What seems crazy to you might make complete sense to me. Therefore, financial success is not a hard science. It's a soft skill where how you behave is more important than what you know. Right, going back to the earlier statement we made in the book. The challenge for us is that no amount of studying or open-mindedness can generally recreate, can genuinely recreate the power of fear and uncertainty. Interesting. So fear and uncertainty is what drives the market price. Fear and uncertainty is what drives on an implied volatility not rules, not laws, not guidelines. And therefore, in order to understand the market, we need to work on trying to understand psychology. This is why we have Ultimate Income Trader, for example, if, uh, for those of you who've been to the Ultimate Income Trader program, we talk about what drives market behavior, what drives price movements, and what drives implied volatility within the marketplace. And the reason 
that I put that program together. And the reason that that is so important and critical is because you're not going to become a wildly successful, consistent trader by following a set of rules and laws and hoping they work. You need to bring in the nuance and the understanding of psychology and why the market moves the way that it does. And that's where you're going to become tremendously successful. So let's talk about some, uh, what we call luck and risk. Luck and risk are both the reality that every outcome in life is guided by forces other than individual effort. They are so similar that you can't believe in one without equally respecting the other. They both happen because the world is too complex to allow 100% of your actions to dictate 100% of your outcomes. They are driven by the same thing. You are one person in a game with 7 billion other people and infinite moving parts. The accidental impact of actions outside of your control can be more consequential than the ones you consciously take. Meaning that in some context, or to some extent, financial outcomes are driven by luck, independent of intelligence and effort. And this can be a real problem for those who are trying to master the market when they rely on results to determine whether or not they're doing it properly. Because they get in this string of wins, right? So they're going along, they're doing their thing, whatever it happens to be, and they get a string of wins. Wonderful. But what they don't realize is, is that, that those string of wins may or may not be luck driven. As a matter of fact, it's highly probable they're at least partially luck driven. Therefore, but, but they don't realize that. Therefore, they think they've got it figured out. They think they figured out the process where they're going to win all the time. Now, at some level, I think we all believe, or maybe we don't, I don't know, but um, we all believe that the process that's going to win all the time, regardless of what happens in the context, doesn't exist. But that's at a logical level. At an unconscious level, right, we all have the expectation that we're going to find this rule set and it's going to win all the time because that's the way the mind works. It's, it's the easy path where you don't have to take any risk and you can just follow rules and, and everything works out in your favor and you can be confident of that. But that doesn't exist. But they think if I can find, just find the right indicator or set of rules, I'm going to make money consistently and forever into the future. That is the holy grail, right? That's what we're <laughs> – well, so many people are – are doomed uh, by seeking, right? They, they, they doom themselves in seeking the Holy Grail, so to speak. But when they're doing that and they get this string of wins, they kind of forget about that and they become overconfident and so forth, which we're gonna talk about, I think, a little bit later, so I don't wanna get too into that. But that's what happens. But when they get that loss or string of losses, that they need to realize that that may also be luck driven or it may not be luck driven. We don't really know offhand unless we do some investigation. But what happens is they'll have this strategy and they'll get a string of losses that may or may not be luck driven as we said before. They throw away whatever they're doing. They double down on how hard they're working on their back testing and, or, or they double down on their effort so to speak. And they go through the same process all over again, all the while escalating and de-escalating their capital level, which is going to prevent them from making any money and really making any progress of the trader. It puts you in this endless loop of going after one strategy after the other, which we've talked about in the past. But this is where that comes from. And that is what I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments or anything else you'd like to see in the next Trading Performance Podcast, please list that in the comments and I'll personally answer your questions and comments for you. Also, I'd love to encourage you to come on over to LockingYourSuccess.com. That's L-O-C-K-E in your success.com and check out our Trading Performance and Pro Memberships where you can find the tools you need to become a much more effective trader regardless of the type of trading you do. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on the next Trading Performance Podcast.